Hi, everybody. James Cebulski along with Ray Ferraro. Last chance for auditions for hopefuls to crack the roster in the final preseason game here on the schedule. Two teams looking star for a win. And we are set to go. The Red Wings take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Sends the pass over. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Comes up with a monster save in front. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. From the point, looks to make something happen. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. The Bruins take it from the side. Sends a pass over. Larkin's got the puck. Quick pass to Sedina. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Points taking it from his own end. Can't make it work. Takes it to the front. Denies him in close. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. And they cut him up to the goal. You know, James, that kills the power play, but I'd still like to see the rules of Megan so they would still get the power play. They earned one, now they don't even get it. The toughest part of this goal is getting yourself into position that close to the net. You get into that low slot, it's got to be a bang-bang play. He's right in position to put it in the net. Boston's got the home crowd right back into it here in the first five minutes. I love the way that they approach this game. They weren't going to hold back at all, and now they can play from the lead. Keeps holding the puck. Can't find his man. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Moves it around along the half wall. Detroit's moving it up the ice. Boston's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a play! Pretty tough for the goaltender to go two ways. He thinks he's moving to the puck but it hits the defender and goes in the net. More than half the period left to play. The Bruins now lead by two. Fredericks gained possession inside the neutral zone. Boston's moving it along the wing. Here's a chance to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Can't make the connection on the pass. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. The Bruins have it now. Moves it to Lindholm. Looks to get the puck over to Korianov. Maintains possession. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance behind the net. Mantha's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Officials stop the play finally, allowing the injured player to get off the ice. Well, there's a couple of penalties called on the same play here, and both teams will lose a man for the next couple of minutes. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Really only two ways to play the four on four. You're either uber aggressive or you're ultra conservative. I want to be aggressive, force the other guys into a mistake. Passes the puck over to Frederick. Fires it on him. Oh, what a save on the clapper. Takes the puck at the point. Great stop by Husso. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Siders picking up steam. Kind of lost control for a sec. All alone! And not much on that one. 
The Bruins gain position along the wall. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Carrier's going to play it against the half wall. Big time glove save. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Khrushchev's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. Here in the back half of this period, the Bruins are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Slides it across to point. And makes the routine save. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. They go on the attack from the left side. Pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. And a little body contact on that play. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Pass broken up. Puck picked up by Mantha. Takes the pass. Handles the puck. McAvoy stick handling in his own zone. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Sends the pass in front. And the puck is snagged and covered up for a whistle. Larkin's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's got a 2-0 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it's kicked away. Takes the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, and it's just wide of the net, no play on. He's gonna shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're gonna get to all night. And he just misses the net. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Ferentz. Comes up with a stop. Big stop by the keeper. Puso's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Fabry's injury has kept him out of the game. I just got word, James, he's not coming back this evening. Thanks for that, Ray. Let's see how the coach rolls with that now. The Bruins win the faceoff. Denies him! He got all of it! Moves it quickly over to Sider. And now he moves it to Sedina. Detroit's got it along the wall. And they keep the pressure on. And now he moves it quickly to Pulsers. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Here's a shot. And that goes off a player. Made the stop on the play. Moves the puck. Boston's got it in their own zone. The Bruins take it along the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. here for period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Red Wings are going to have to find a better way to play here. They have not had the puck very much. They're trailing, and both of those things are going to have to change. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Bruins take over on possession. And a solid save there as we play on smothered that in close chance. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Works it across to Larkin. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. He got all of that one. Yeah, and it was that guy who's picking himself and his stick up off the ice. A little burst of speed now as the puck's moved inside. Oh, how did he keep that one out? 
I love the way that they work that puck around, get it into position for the chance. But man, that shot's just not quite good enough. McAvoy's got it in the defensive end. The Bruins played along the boards. Denies him! Puck grabbed by Point. Detroit's looking to break out. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Quick shot and a great save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bruins lead this one to zip. Boston's won the draw. Bronick's lugging the puck. Pushes it across to Hall. Puts it on net, and it goes off a stick and off to the side. Poked away in the neutral zone by Valeno. And that's broken up. That pass doesn't go. And he gives it over to Ronick. Gets it back. And it's a quick pass to Frederick. Along the half wall with the puck. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Frederick's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Carrier's got it along the boards. And that pass doesn't go. Joseph's got it along the wing. And he takes the feed. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves into the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sharp reaction save. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. And he puts it away to make the save. Boston's on the attack. Good hit on the play. Husso's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Boston's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. McLaughlin's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Too much traffic in the lane. Handles it along the blue line. Ferentz has got it in the offensive zone. Centering feed! Oh, what a chance! And he fanned on the puck. They put the puck into the offensive end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to McLaughlin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. What a great glove save by the goaltender here. He's got to get out, stay up long enough to keep the glove high and make a remarkable glove save. Points got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And keeps it out with the toe. Wow, what a play on his part. husso has been excellent. His save percentage is terrific tonight, but they are just not finding anything at the offensive end. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Slides the puck over. Oh, what a big hit on the play. Outstanding play. Closed the lane off, finished him hard. Taken by McAvoy. From the right side and up the middle. Takes a shot. Outstanding save and a huge opportunity. Winberg's got it against the boards. Boston's got it in their own zone. Skates across the blue line. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through center. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Bruins will play it in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Boston's in transition. Quick feed to McAvoy. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, what a hit, Ray. You can hear that from here. How about you? 
Yeah, oh yeah, that'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Makes the save. Slides the pass over to Sider. Here's a short pass to Larkin. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Here we go. Period number three. It's winner go home time now. Ray Ferraro is at ice level, and he gives us his assessment of what he's seen tonight. The Red Wings are trailing in this game, and really sometimes the stats tell you the whole story. They have not had the puck very much, and as a result, they're not generating any offense. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Moves behind the net. Play with the dead penalty coming up. I think you just get all consumed with the play here. You're hunting the puck down, and you don't even realize you're taking a slashing penalty. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. Tremendous stop by Husso. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Knocked away by McAvoy. Boston's got the puck against the boards. He got all of that one. Quick. Pass to Valeno. The Red Wings take it across the line. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Joseph. Great save from in tight. And that's blocked. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. The Red Wings are in transition. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Red Wings PK unit delivers in a big way. Ayafalo's going to hear it from the crowd for the rest of the night. He caused that er earlier injury to the home team player and they're not very happy with it. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. And he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Carrier. Textbook poke check by Pulsers. Great cross-ice pass. The Red Wings have it now. Saucer feed. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Bruins have it against the wall. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. With some open space at center. Couldn't connect on that pass. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Great feed from the left side. Off a stick and they can't connect. And a great read to turn that play aside. Takes that pass back at the point. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? That's about as good a shift as you can have without sticking one behind the goaltender. And it's a one-goal game as he buries it. You want to make this thing believable for yourself, you've got to get away from that two-goal deficit. They've done it here, and now they'll look for the nine goal. Detroit's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, stick save by Husso. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Red Wings have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Tremendous save by Husso. And now it's grabbed by Mantha. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the call here. 
That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead now, you've got to defend it short of man. Detroit's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. A well-deserved power play coming up here, looking for the time goal. They've been really pushing hard, and they drew this penalty through that hard work. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Zucker. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Play whistle dead offside the call. Ronick's ankle breaker zone ability is when he undresses defenders at high speeds before they can react, guys. Not only does he move quickly, but he reads the game just as fast. Frederick's won it. Puck picked up by McAvoy. And now it's over to Hall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Moves it up. With possession along the wall. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Two on one. Great read by McCauley as he pokes it away with a stick. He can really shoot the puck. Now that's help because the thing's sitting flat. It's a laser right off his stick. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. own end. Puck grab by Zadina. Takes it and looks ahead. Here's a shot. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Draw on their own end. Can't make it work. Center and feed. And that's stopped. Boston's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Poked away in the offensive zone by point. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. You'd think with the amount of chances we've seen throughout this hockey game, there'd be goals all over the place. Certainly not been the case, James. The goaltending has been excellent, and the shooters just haven't been able to finish their chances. Drives it to the crease! Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Getting into the later stages of this period. Boston's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Kurashev's won the draw inside his own end. Lays into the body on the play. Moves it quickly over to Sider. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Score! Oh, it's getting to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. The Red Wings have come up with a huge third period goal here late to set up for a dramatic finale. They push hard for this time goal, and now that they have it, don't take your foot off the gas. Try and get the winner before you get anywhere near overtime. Oh, after being on the receiving end of that hit, James, no surprise, he's heading slowly to the bench. Taken by Hyatt. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Quick feed to Savina. Straight up the middle. Here they come. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. Nice feed. Tries to get the puck over to Corriano. Moves it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Puso's gonna hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. And a strong effort on that play. 
receives the pass. There's the horn for regulation, and it solves nothing. Overtime coming up right after this. Kurashev's absence will continue for the rest of the evening. He's just been ruled out by the training staff. Thanks, Ray. We'll see how this impacts the game now going forward. Will we get a winner here in overtime as we are underway? Poked away. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Huso. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Points won the draw. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Slides the puck over to Larkin. Handles the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, brutal open ice hit. He laid the shoulder in. It's a clean hit. There'll be no penalty. That's a devastating hit. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed. Fails to find the open man. Boston's regained possession of the puck. Makes the pass save, although he might have got a piece of it with his foot. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Look at that collision. You might say he had that one coming. You could hear the players on the bench as that hit was starting to come together. They knew this is retribution for the earlier play. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Boston's got it in their own zone. Feed to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Carrier's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed. And he comes up with it. Detroit's got the puck now. Looking to end it. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Way too much congestion blocks that. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Cuts into the paint. And he takes the pass. Trying to shake loose. All alone. Cuts it wide. Slick feed. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he couldn't connect on the play. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And now he passes up to Frederick and sends it just out of reach. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. They score! They take it in overtime! Side's always a good place to shoot. If the goalie's not down in the butterfly to smother that off, it's going to beat the goalie because he doesn't have much to stop it with. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from Rinkside. <laughs>